Welcome back to Animal of the Week. Today we are looking at a riskily named bird, the Gyanan Cock of the Rock. It's one of the most strangely named and strange looking birds around, with a large orange crest on its head that makes it look like a feathery orange beluga whale. There are two species of Cock of the Rock, the Gyanan, the one we're looking at, and the Andean. The Andean just looks less cool with a smaller and less pronounced crest, and so I've chosen to do the Gyanan. Sorry Andean, get a better crest then maybe you can have your own video. Though called the Guianan Cock of the Rock, they actually live in Guiana, Brazil, Venezuela, Suriname, Colombia, and Guyana. Within this range, the birds are found on rocky outcrops within the dense, humid rainforests. Their dependence on rocky outcrops for nesting is what gives them their name, Cock of the Rock. Males are very territorial and will mark out their land on the forest floor by clearing out small areas of leaves and twigs. These clearings mark territory and help attract mates. Gyan and Cock of the Rocks are frugivores, meaning their diet is almost solely fruit. Emphasis on almost, they are also known to sometimes eat small invertebrates and insects. Up to 65 different fruits are known to be eaten by these birds, and they are very important to the survival of many of these fruit species. When studying these birds, people have found fruits growing near their nests that are not found for miles around, showing that the birds are important seed dispensers within the rainforests, helping to spread the plants around and ensuring biodiversity in the area. Male Cock of the Rocks, both Gyanan and Andean, are the ones who possess the strange crests with the females looking far more like normal birds. Now this should come as no surprise, but the reason for the males possessing the crests is of course for mating purposes. Males will come together in leks in small clearings and proceed to try to attract females with their crests. Unsurprisingly, the bigger and more magnificent the crest, the more likely the bird will find a mate. Once they have mated, the females build nests from muds and sticks on the side of rocky outcrops. They do this by themselves and proceed to incubate as well. The males have very little to do with raising their young, as they mate with many different females. Male Gyan and Cock of the Rocks seem to put most of their adaptations into mating. These birds on a basic level are just like any other, but the adaptations that make them unique, like the crest or their vivid colours, are all to help with mating and nothing else. The bright orange colour helps them stick out on the jungle floor to mates, and usually the brighter the orange, the more likely they are to find a mate, as they will stick out from all the other cocks of the rocks in their lack. Because males will mate with multiple females, and usually the brightest males get to mate, it has led to the species becoming more and more vivid in colour, and led to the species crests becoming more and more pronounced, as again the males with the larger ones will mate many times passing on this trait. Because only a few males are needed to make a new generation, it means these birds have an accelerated rate of evolution. In a species where most will get to mate, many traits are all passed on, leading to it taking longer for a sizable population of that species to develop the given trait and evolve. With the Guiana and Cock of the Rock, because only a few males who have the desired trait of vivid colour or pronounced crest will mate, with many many females, most of that offspring will have the trait, leading to the development of the bird's pigment and crests being accelerated. These birds live in the jungles of South America, and so there are many things that wouldn't mind eating them. From the air, harpy eagles, black and white hawk eagles, and forest falcons are all potential threats, and from the ground, jaguars, ocelots, and various snakes like boa constrictors. Cocks of the rock are most vulnerable while they are in their mating legs, as they are on the ground making noise, however being in a group does allow them to watch and warn others of coming threats. These birds are classed as least concern, and their populations are stable for now. Of course, a sudden change in their environment from climate change or from deforestation would obviously threaten them. However, for now, they seem to be relatively unaffected by human activity, but we will have to see how long this lasts. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.